When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours, and you are mine. Your grace abounds in deep. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our evening reflection. It's lovely to have you with us tonight for this time at West Kilbride Parish Church. We meet together each Sunday evening to pray together. Uh, there is a prayer that's prepared by the Church of Scotland and other denominations around Scotland, and Christians are encouraged to join together in prayer each Sunday evening. And so we've faithfully done that. Uh, over the past year or so, and we will do so again tonight. 
But before we do so, we're going to spend some time just in quiet, and then we'll spend some time in prayer. And then we will look at God's word, and we're continuing uh, looking at uh, parts of the, the Easter story and the aftermath of the cross and the resurrection. And we're going to look at Luke's gospel tonight at the very end in chapter 24. But let's, as we always do, let's just still ourselves uh, before the Lord, first of all. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you give us a peace which is beyond our utmost understanding. And we pray that we would know of that peace. So often our minds can be all over the place. So often our minds can be concerned about what's happening in our world, what's happening in our nation, what's happening in our own lives and in our own family life. But Heavenly Father, we thank you nothing is hidden from you and that we can freely come before you with confidence, knowing that you know all things and that we can trust in your perfect purposes for our lives. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight as we gather together that we might know your shalom, that we might know of your peace deep within. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So our focus tonight is Luke, Luke chapter 24 and verses 36 through to 49. So let's hear the word of the Lord. This is what happens on Easter Sunday evening. While we're still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, peace be with you. They were startled and frightened thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your mind? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself, touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. And he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I'm going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you've been clothed with power from on high. Amen. God will bless this reading from his holy word. Now, the context for our reading uh, this evening is that the 11 disciples are together and they have just received uh, Cleopas and the other disciple who were on the road to Emmaus. And remember what happened to those two disciples on the road to Emmaus. We looked at it in our service this morning here in West Kilbride. And what happened was that they met with Jesus and they were so excited about meeting with Jesus who'd opened their minds uh, to the scriptures who had opened their minds to who exactly he was. And then when Jesus broke the bread, remember, when he was about to have a meal with these two disciples, then they recognized Jesus had been with them all along. So these two disciples have been in a journey from Jerusalem to Emmaus. They made their way all the way back from Emmaus to Jerusalem. And when they get back to the other 11 disciples, there's an excitement because the 11 disciples are saying, it's true, Jesus is alive. And then these two disciples come in and they say, we've met with Jesus. And in the midst of these things, when they're still speaking about it and saying, you know how amazing this is, Jesus comes into their midst. Now, you might think that they are expecting this. Peter and the other disciple uh, have been speaking about it. Cleopas and the other disciple with him 
have been speaking about it, saying they've met with the risen Jesus. And yet clearly they don't expect it because there Jesus comes and he stands among them. It's no wonder, therefore, he says, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Shalom be with you. Now, even when they said that, he said that they were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. And how can we blame the disciples, really? I mean, who expects a dead man to rise? Some of them had seen him die on the cross at Calvary. They'd seen the nails go in. They'd seen the spear going in his side. They'd seen his body being taken off and placed in that tomb. And yet here he was, standing in their midst, alive. A ghost doesn't eat broiled fish. That's probably why Jesus took that piece of broiled fish. And then he says to them again, as he'd said to the disciples on the road to Emmaus, all this happened so scripture would be fulfilled. The law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms, and he opens their minds so they can understand the scriptures, the scriptures that tell all about him. Now, our focus tonight is to think about peace, to think about peace, the peace that Jesus brings. Ultimately, Jesus brings peace through reconciling us to God through what he's done on the cross. Obviously, even though we can be saved, we can be uh, Christians, believers in Christ, we don't always live in that state of peace, do we? And especially during this past year, perhaps we've been concerned, distracted, lots of different things going on in the world, in our nation, in our lives. And so sometimes we maybe feel that lack of peace. But when we know Jesus is in our midst, we know he says, peace be with you. In their agitated state of the disciples, Jesus comes in their midst and says, peace be with you. And in our agitation and what we're facing, Jesus comes into the middle of it all and says, peace be with you. You see, when we know Jesus is there, then we know everything will be okay. We know that Jesus has it all in hand. That's not to say life will be easy. But we can trust that God is there and that God cares. And so I encourage you tonight, if in the midst of your situation, you're feeling a lack of peace. See how Jesus says to the disciples here, peace be with you. And may you know that peace, that peace that passes all understanding in your situation, in your family life, in your personal life. As we think over these thoughts this evening, let's move to pray with the words that have been prepared for us. And the moderator of the General Assembly, the Right Reverend Martin Fair, is going to read these words for us. Living God, your word to us through the risen Lord is, peace be with you. Amidst the disturbance of the times, May we hear your word and embrace the peace you offer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, your word to us through the risen Lord is peace be with you. When the foundations are shaken and the certainty is no longer sure, may you speak to us in the still, small voice of calm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, your word to us through the risen Lord is peace be with you. When we are fearful and troubled, may you speak to the depths of our fears and still our troubled hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, your word to us through the risen Lord is peace be with you. As we hear his voice, may we reach out to the one whose presence is renewed and revealed before us. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Living God, your word to us through the risen Lord is peace be with you. As we experience the renewal of life within our family and community, may we bear witness to your abiding presence among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a protest of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Saviour all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture burst on my sight. Of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. my story, this is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Saviour.